Well, I'm here with Miss England, uh, Cat Hodge, uh, serving soldier from the uh, Adjutant General's Corps. Um, Cat, I just wondered, um, you've been enjoying a fabulous year as Miss England. Um, you've done several things that you, you probably wouldn't have dreamed of uh, this time, even this time last year. Um, I'm just wondering, what have been the highlights for you um, in your year as Miss England? Uh, there's been too many. I couldn't put it all down to one thing. Obviously, going to Miss World was amazing. Uh, spending six weeks uh, with girls from all around the world. Um, working with Help for Heroes has been fantastic. Some of the charity events I've done, um, riding on every roller coaster in the UK in a day was a bit mad. Um, I'm, com in, I'm coming up to be racing as a racing driver at Silverstone against people. Um, and obviously getting involved with uniformdating.com has been great as well. Um, I've got to travel the world. It's been really, really fantastic. I'm so grateful that I've had this year. Well, you, you've obviously come from quite a, a different background to, to a lot of uh, Miss England candidates. Um, and, and being a serving soldier, obviously, you've seen a very, very different side of life. I wondered if I could ask you what sort of drove you down the route of, of going into the army to, to start with? Um, I was watching an army advert, and my brother used to be in the army, and uh, I randomly just sat there and joked that his job was easy, um, and he said to me, well, there's no way you'd ever be able to do it. Um, so I thought, right, well, I'm going to show you. So I packed my things, and I popped down to the careers office and said I want to join the army, um, and I still remember the person looking at me like, really? Okay, then, this is going to be funny. Right, okay, then what do you want to join? And I just was like... The army. I had no idea there were jobs in the army and things, um, but it's it's been great ever since. And it might have been a joke for me initially, but I realised that the army is a really great career, um, and it's something I wanted to carry on doing for as long as I enjoy. There's always the the rumour that you, you turned up uh, on your first day of um, phase one training, uh, uh, sort of immaculately dressed, and you very quickly earned quite a distinctive nickname, which was Combat Barbie. Is that? that true? Yes, I thought, do you know what, I'm not going to pre pretend to be someone I'm not when I join the army. So it was like a scene out of Legally Blonde. <laughs> I turned up with my hair all in bouncy curls, um, um, a pink overcoat on top of my suit, kitten heels, um, dragging pink suitcases with my eyelashes and my makeup done. And as I walked through, they were like, oh my God, Combat Barbie's arrived. And I, Some people think that nickname's derogatory, but I actually quite like it. It's just a bit of fun. Have you always been this way throughout your army career? Obviously, I mean, you, you take pride in your appearance and you like the, the, the clothes and the makeup, that kind of thing. Is that something that you, you found, despite your, your career in combat, you, you, you enjoy? Yeah, I mean, who broke the rule book to say someone in the army can't be girly? And I want to, you know, that was part and parcel of doing Miss England. I wanted to promote the army and show that girly girls can do a job like mine. And, you know... Just because you're in the army doesn't mean you need to lose who you are, and I'm not going to pretend to be someone I'm not. Well, I mean, you, you talk about sort of um, being a girly girl, but obviously you, you have seen some fairly serious action, and you were on uh, Operation Telek in, in Iraq. Um, I hear that you actually were commended for, for, for your actions in, in one particular uh, scenario. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened? And I believe it was a, a, a prisoner that um, you'd taken... Uh, yeah, I was in a search operation in Basra back in 2005. Um, our vehicle was involved in a road traffic accident. It rolled over three times, um, and when I came round, the Iraqi had our weapons, so I used reasonable force to get them off him. Wow, and you, you received a commendation for that? That's yeah, true, I did, so, yeah. yeah. So. How did you find the Iraq experience? Obviously, I mean, it's. It, I, I remember that summer tour myself very well. It was an extremely... Uh, hot period um, in terms of action as well as the, the climate. How did you find that you, you, you took to that and how do you find that the girls generally adjust to, to such demanding conditions? Well, I mean, I was only 18, so it's a bit of a culture shock for me. Um, but it was great to see another country. Um, it sounds really weird. I enjoyed going to Iraq because it's a country that no one's ever going to go on holiday there. So I got to see a culture and another, and another lifestyle. Um, so I enjoyed seeing the culture, helping the people out there, because a lot of people think we're at war, but we're actually out there peacekeeping. Um, and no, yeah, it was great. You got to, you know, I made my best friends out there because I spent the time with, obviously a lot of the people, the guys are lads, guys obviously, but the, uh, but there's girls as well. And, you know, most of the girls just get on with it and enjoy themselves.